What's up guys, BND Gaming here, and today we are going to be showcasing the new April Fools units. So, as you guys can tell, these units are the 16-bit Goku and Vegeta. These units are actually quite good because if you they're on the right team, they will almost always get a super attack off. That's not a very uncommon thing in Doken these days. But they give 88% to attack and defense uh, whenever you are getting the super attack off for both of these units so they can actually tank quite well and they can hit pretty well for an undoken free-to-play unit so we're just going to hop into the uh, boss rush 5 event and uh, I'm gonna show these guys off a little bit on this pure Saiyans team so this team is pretty fun because they have the uh, free to play LR Goku and Vegeta so those are quite cool that uh, we're able to make this team along with the support uh, Bardock and or not Bardock uh, Brawly and Paragus because they can just make this quite a fun team all right let's see so we're just gonna try to fly through this real quick we're doing nothing special here the main rotations we want to run are I would like to run the two 16-bit characters together and I would also like to run the two LRs together because that would just make for a fun little video that we could do showcasing these characters especially since this Goku the uh, tech LR Goku is so old he was the first LR but he is so old that I mean he is just completely overlooked and I just like him I mean it's a very cool card to look back and say that was the very first LR that was made. Now there have been some rumors in the Doken community that uh, the LR Goku could possibly be getting an easy A. I don't believe that those are true but if they are found to be true that would be quite incredible because I can't imagine how difficult they would have to make an easy A for an LR character. So as we see here the 16-bit Vegeta and Goku are both hitting for about 500,000 attack stat with no support on a 130% attack uh, double lead. So that's that's pretty cool right here. Now we're going to be able to see, well no we aren't because he's going to, this Vegeta will probably just finish it, but uh, the next rotation we should have our rotations down so then we will finally be able to start getting into some fun and see what these units can do with the or when they have the uh, Brawly and Paragus on rotation with them all right so Vegeta is gonna finish it off with us here and then we will be jumping into the Gogeta step now many of you know that you shouldn't take this event too lightly this event it can be quite difficult. Uh, it, the, it, the Gogeta tanks very well, plus he can uh, output a mass amount of damage. So this is nothing to be taken too lightly. So let's see how these guys do. 13k for a free-to-play undoken unit. That is very good. Plus 540,000 attack stat and the crit. Uh, the Goku has 20 crit into him. And the Vegeta, I believe, has... Uh, I believe it's 15 additional and 5 crit. Uh, I can check that in a minute. But, you see, you, it's just interesting to see how these units can do and how Bandai is uh, releasing new things for this game and how they're making it better and they're making the free-to-play units better. It's just they're... Uh, I love how much the time and effort is being put into uh, a more free-to-play system because I mean at, I would say roughly around 50% of the community is probably free-to-play I mean not everybody has enough money to spend on this game or anything which is completely understandable but uh, I love how they're making free-to-play units and teams just like the Ginyu category how that is a completely free-to-play category and it's very good you can beat multiple do uh, 
you could beat multiple Doken Fest events with that team. All right, so now let's see what this Goku and Vegeta can do along with the uh, Paragus and Brawly lead or uh, support. So if it gets down to it, the Paragus and Brawly uh, will not be able to. Wow, six hundred and fifty thousand. That's very high. Plus the crit. That's very good. Now we're gonna go on to the main stage of this and I'd imagine we will finish out this stage and then I will call it a video uh, that'll just be a good showcase of the units both sets and uh, it'll give me enough time to give my piece out but see even here your fate uh, with a heavy with a hard Doken Fest event this Old, the old LR Tech Goku is tanking for 70 damage. That's incredible. And he's outputting 822. That is crazy. The Vegeta, well, of course he's going to tank well. He has type advantage. Uh, this Vegeta will most likely do nothing unless he crits. Oh, well, he got a crit there. But as these guys are cool... And I love how they're doing the free-to-play LRs. I just wish that they would make the units, instead of having just a flat boost in their passive, I wish they would have a percentage. That'd make it more interesting, I believe, but I understand where they're coming from, where Bandai is coming from if they don't want to do that, because then uh, they could make a free-to-play unit that would not make them any money very good. So 16,000, that's pretty good. And 540,000, that's a very good. See, and then, so when the Goku attacks, I believe after the Goku attacks, he uh, raises his own attack for four turns. And when the Vegeta attacks, he raises his defense for four turns. Uh, I will check that after this rotation. But I believe that is how it is. Let me check. Oh, well, no, we got to wait for... Uh, the Royal Blue Vegeta to finish all of his uh, additional attacks. No, oh, we got another one. All right, there he goes. Okay, so let's check that. The Goku, after a after he supers, he raises his own attack for four turns, and the Vegeta raises his own defense for four turns. Okay, let's get this. Uh, so this is a Goku and Vegeta with a Brawly and Paragus support. And the Brawly and Paragus give 40% to attack and defense, so you'll see them of course tank for a lot, but 911,000 damage for a free-to-play LR. That's good. Uh, that is very, very good. And especially if Bandai decides to give these uh, LRs that aren't as good as the summonable LRs and easy A to make them even better. That would be incredible to see what they could do with that. All right, guys, I'm going to call that that for the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you like the video, go down and like and comment telling us you liked it. And uh, you can give us some ideas for some future videos or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed.